Week 11, problem 13. The light beam in the figure below strikes surface 2, that surface right there, at the critical angle. The critical angle. Determine the angle of incident. Ah, I, for some reason, that reminds me of a Mortal Kombat. Fatality. The fatal angle. Determine the angle of incidence, theta 1. Let theta 2 equal 40. Okay. So, we're going to be using Snell's Law here. Pretty darn sure. Yep, all right, so draw out some angles real quick and I'll make my pen super, super small so I can actually draw on here. All right, click. Okay, so we're gonna have this angle right here. This will be theta something. I'll call this theta three, just cause I need I'll just leave it as theta right now so I can be non-committal about the whole thing. There we go. That's going to be a theta that we care about. I'm going to call this guy theta 4. Okay. Oh, that's a terrible 4. Maybe it's... No, there we go. Okay. And we're basically going to work backwards from here to there and find out what theta 1 equals. Okay. Maybe we can do that. Maybe. And if not, well, then I'll give up and cry myself to sleep. This is actually solved most of my problems, but it does make me feel better about them. All right. So let's do, nope, sine of, sine of theta four over velocity four equals sine, I'm gonna use two this time, over velocity two, okay? And we know that, Sine of theta 4, since theta 4, this guy right here, is 90 degrees, this guy's going to be 1. V, this is V4. Uh, V4 is just going to be C, because that's the speed of light. Then we're going to, and we know that V2 is, we don't know what V2 is. That's the key part here. I think that's one of the tricks. We need to find what V2 is. Aha. We don't know what V2 is. Got it. So we need to find V2, which we can do. So I'll make this little arrow thing. V2 equals sine of theta 2. There we go. Draw below. And then we'll multiply this by V1. Um, okay. So we know that theta 2 is 40, sine of 40 is, what is it, two-thirds? Sine of 40 degrees. I'll say it's 0 0.6, 0 0.66, 0 0.65, 0 0.66. 0 0.64, okay, 0 0.64. So V2 equals 0.64 V1. Okay, that works. Hmm, okay. So let's try and do some other things and see where this goes. So we know this angle right here, this is 90. So this will be 40 degrees. So this guy is going to be 50 degrees. We know for a triangle, all the angles are going to equal 180. So 60 plus 50 is 110. 180 minus 110 is 70. So this angle right here is going to be 70. We know that this guy here is a perpendicular. So we know that 90 minus 70 is going to be 20. So this guy right here is going to be 20 degrees. Um, yep, there's no real deep conceptual understanding of that. I just looked at it. It's like, all right, triangles add up to 180 degrees. When you have a perpendicular, um, they're going to add up to 90 degrees. And I just got lucky that it worked. So I'm going to go with that. Better to be lucky than good. So, and then we also know what the velocity of um, light inside the 
surface is. It's 0.64 V1. All right, so now we're going to go back up here, do another Snell's Law. Nope, I'm not going to use N. Sine of theta 1 or V1 equals sine of, I'm going to call this guy theta 3 over V3, where V3 is the same as V2. All right, so from here, you want to find, I'm going to solve for theta 1. By solve, I mean I'm going to leave it as sine of theta 1. So I don't like write, I don't like writing arc signs. So V1 over V3, which equals V3 is 0.64 V1 oh, times sine of theta 3 equals V1 over 0 0.64. 4 v1 sine of what do we come up with 20 I think we got came up with 20 20 which is like what one third mm -hmm. probably one third and these guys will cancel all right so then theta 3 no theta 1 theta 1 equals arc sine of 1 divided by 0.64 4 times sine of 20. Hmm. This might actually work. This might actually work. All right. Arc sine of quantity 1 divided by 0.64 times sine of 20. I'll throw in another parenthesis just for good measure. All right, so 1 over 0.64, sine of 20, arc sine, yep, 32.3 equals 32.3 degrees. Bam. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. This homework set has not been that bad. I guess they do probably feel sorry for you after that last exam. So... But hopefully you did well. If not, it's good motivation to do better on the next one. So, all right, to backtrack real quick on how we did this problem, um, it told us critical angle, or as I like to say now, the fatal angle. Um, down here was, so we know that theta four, in this case, this theta four, this angle. Did I call that theta four? That's not theta four. This right here is theta four. Theta four is 90 degrees which means the sine of 90 degrees is going to be 1. So we use Snell's Law to find, we, already, we were given theta 2, we were given theta 4, and we assume that outside the surface it's air, so we're going to use this uh, speed of light as actually the speed of light. And that gives us a chance to find V2, which is the speed inside the, uh, I guess, prism, the thingy-majigger that got struck by the light. We then used angles and perpendiculars to find this angle right here, which is 20. We then use Snell's Law again with our newfound information about the speed of light inside the material to then find the initial angle. And that, bam, was 32.3, at least for this case it was. All right, sounds good. Hope you enjoyed this problem set as much as I did. See you next week.